Alright guys, um, today this is a video um, that we're going to be shooting um, about 13 gram lead hollow points in 50 caliber. Um, they're by Air Venturi, they're for the big bore rifles, all the 50 cals. Um, yeah, so we already seen uh, Air Gun Alley, um, he tried these out. And he had a, I believe he had a jam up or a couple of jam ups. Um, what I noticed was when I opened these up, um, these pellets, they have a, these slugs, they have a seam on them for where they're put together. I don't know if you can see it there. See it right there, that line? Well, all you have to do is just take a quick file like this and then just kind of rub it back and forth around the seam just to let you don't even have to push on the file just let the weight of the file do it just lean the file on it and rub it because the way they're pressed in i guess in their molds there's kind of some burring left on it but uh yeah like just taking them fresh out of the box um uh let's see here I'm trying to slide one down the barrel yeah, see how it gets stopped? And, uh, I'm not sure if these tuning run barrels, I think they're slightly smaller inner diameter than the stock HDR barrels. But I think Aragon Alley was using the stock barrel, so, um, it jammed in the stock barrel, so it definitely could jam in this one. So, what I found out is that, see how it stopped in there? That's just because of those little burrs on the side. Now, watch, I'm going to push it through. Sometimes you can just push it through uh, a couple times and it'll knock the burrs off. But there, there's the pellet that I just got out. So now I'm going to take the file and just, just go over those seams there a little bit. <clears throat> That's one. Now let's try this again. Oh, comes all the way down, see? Right out. Now it slides smoothly out the barrel. So they're just, I guess where they're pressed into the mold, so they're kind of, leaves a little bit of extra burring on the side, on the edge. So once you get that off, you shouldn't have no more jam issues. We're going to test them out right now with high power. Um, yeah, so we got, this one might get stuck too. Ooh, straight out the barrel. Straight out the barrel. See that? <clears throat> and these are the tuning run, the sniper extensions from Home Defense 24. So yeah, I've got a mag here all ready to go. Um, you have to drill the mag out for these. I also got some, uh, some lead balls. Check this out, guys. Tell me if this makes any sense to you. These fit the stock magazines. You don't have to drill them out. But they get stuck in this barrel. Um, these are the 495, 0.495 ones. I'm ordering some 0.490s. They're a little bit thinner. They're around 5.3. These are around, sorry, these are around 12.5. Diameter and then the other ones are 12.3 diameter. So I'm going to try those other ones, but this is what makes no sense to me These here you have to drill out the mag for and Just taking the burrs off they slide down that barrel nice and perfectly These here fit the stock mags undrilled they fit right in but they won't go out the barrel Can somebody please explain that to me? I, I just I can't make any sense out of that But yeah, anyways <clears throat> um, okay, let's get this barrel screwed back in here. We're going to be using a, I have another barrel length right there, plus the stock barrel. So we're going to be using about 25 inch barrel in total. Let me get this back in. Oh, 
Okay. So we are screwed in. I'm going to move this over to the table. Um, this is where I'm going to shoot, so. <clears throat> this up lower this down a little bit <clears throat> okay let me get this light on See if the screen's picking it up. Okay, perfect. And then we got a full inch, two inches of uh, of uh, plywood down there. I'm not expecting these big flat slugs to go go all the way through, but we'll see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> Um, oh yeah, I'm going to show you the weight of these slugs too. So, here's the scale. So they're about 11.8, so almost 12 grams. <clears throat> <clears throat> Drop the mag in. I'll get my tank here. We're going to be using 1100 psi. It says right there. It's so dark back here. Anyways, the same old tank I always use. It's from bestfittings.com. It comes 1100 already. Alrighty, so let me get this tank screwed in. Oh wait, I gotta put some oil in first. Um. actually had pressure in it stuff. We didn't purge it. <laughs> okay, so get some T4E oil here. Put a few drips down in there. I have no clue what to expect with these. Um Okay, so I'm just going to screw the bottom. See if we get a leak here. I hope not. All right, we're all gassed up and ready to go. Let me turn on this chronograph. All right, here's the marker we're using. It's the HDR 50 Torsikev carbine. 25 inch barrel. Mm. 
Okay. And we're going to fire the first shot. Four twenty nine. Oops, bring your I think I blew my O-ring. Yep. I think I might have blew the O-ring. Or it's fluttering one or the other. Yeah, it sounds like it's dislodged. Shut that off. Wow, finally, after three, over three years now, I blew the first O-ring, but I'm using these max power chambers. I got everything hooked up. I normally won't use this setup, so. Um, yeah, anyways, we do know they shoot, though. <clears throat> um, this O-ring's old. <clears throat> I'm going to take the mag out just to make sure it works. Let me take this out. I'll redo this video in a proper setup, guys. I was just going for the max power and shit, but... Oh my god, look at that. Didn't even penetrate. <clears throat> oh, I wouldn't want to get hit by that. Jesus, look at the back. Just from those two shots, man. Those heavy slugs. That's a full inch of solid birch plywood, too. But look at the damage you've done on that. There's, They're hollow points, so you're not going to have no penetration with these. Look at that. Almost looks like there'd be no damage on the back. And then all of a sudden, boom, look at the damage on that. That's crazy. I don't know what jewels that is. That's really high jewels. Um, but yeah, I'll go back and redo these. Um, you guys take care. That last one was 475 FPS. Um... Yeah, all right, guys. So I'm going to redo this one after when I set up. I'm not going to use that high power and all those leaky chambers and stuff for now. But anyways, take care, guys. And we'll see you on the next one.